The best thing about a dollhouse is you can never do it wrong because the fact that we're renovating them shows you can always start over. My name is um, Susie Vallone and I'm the owner of Whimsy's Dollhouse Shop in Greenwich, Connecticut. When I first bought the shop, it was really moms and daughters coming in and doing a house together as a special project, or I was renovating a mom's special dollhouse from her childhood. Now I'm getting people from farther away that are doing it on their own. It's just insane the amount of work that goes into each piece. And I don't think people realize that when you see some of the high-end collector pieces that are made from scratch where they took a piece of wood and they made a coffee table out of that and then put a marble top on it to boot. But the houses, by the time you're done, they come to thousands of dollars. And that's because you started with a flat box of wood and you made this amazing house out of it. It's not like in real life where like you have to call in a contractor and find out like is that a supporting wall? It's you can do that in a dollhouse. You can just get rid of that and make that big bedroom instead of a bedroom and a tiny little side room. So it's, it's just doable. I think people are wanting to renovate and change the interior of their dollhouses now because the furnishings that are out there, the things that you can buy is different than how dollhouses used to be. There are more modern kitchens and it mirrors what we're living in real life. One customer, we were having a special bed made for her, so basically she brought in pieces of her wallpaper and the bed that she needed done and took a couple weeks and when she came to pick up the bed, she was like, oh, I can't wait to see the expression on my doll's face. She's gonna be so excited. <laughs> I think dollhouses are very highly sentimental. They remind you of your youth, a different time when everything, you know, was about play and imagination. A lot of times when you finish the house and the mom comes in with her daughter and this is like a handing down, it's very teary and very emotional. When the tears of happiness come, I guess, when they're picking up and they're just so excited to see what I've done with their house.